taking the pups for a walk. Just pleased to inform you guys that the slippers that were sent me are already loosening up. So that's a plus. <clears throat> it is Monday. We are five days out. Like I said, just taking the dogs out. I haven't weighed in or anything yet. I literally just got out of bed. I'm sorry, I'm holding this and my camera in one hand, but uh, I haven't weighed in or anything yet, so gonna go in. Mm. Do that and get on with the day. What? So two things. One, I had no idea my hair looked like this when I was talking to you guys earlier. I washed it last night and I actually like blow dried it straight just to experiment a little bit to see what it looked like for the competition. I am getting it cut, but I just wanted to see what it looked like. But it lengthened it and it made it super poofy. But it's clean, which is doesn't happen very often. So that's number one. Number two, dropping a pound after a refeed hardly ever happens. Very, very happy about it. I'm kind of perplexed because I was expecting, usually you expect to gain a little bit of weight, but I'll take it. I'm not gonna complain, but 204.6, that is an all-time low. I am very, very excited about that. So let's do a quick, very quick little physique update, turn around so you guys can see where I'm at. Stand back and hold you it. Need your, Stand back. Feed you. Stand back. I'm posing. You need your hold it. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> There's my $14 coffee. Cinnamon. So I think I'm gonna put you guys at the like judges level whenever I give you a physique update. You're the best idea of what the judges will see. A lot of people like do it like a straight on, whereas judges are going to be down like at stage level so why not but feeling good <clears throat> um i mean as good as i can so on with the day this is what we got for breakfast looks pretty similar to what i had yesterday on sunday the biggest difference here is less oatmeal and uh so quick on my nutrition for today uh carbs are down a little bit since i did say i'm tapering at tapering down so yesterday I was at 225, today I'm at 150, and then tomorrow I'm back down to 75, and then Wednesday and Thursday I am down to 50. So that's the plan as of right now. I don't know if Anthony's gonna change it since he saw my weight drop so drastically. I don't think so, because we still need to come back down and dry out and try and uh, work a little harder to uh, tighten up a little more. So that's breakfast, gonna start with this, finish with that. Well, actually finish with that, I'm gonna, yeah because that's got to be the last thing to be eaten. But I added on my oatmeal some gingerbread cookie flavor god and some cinnamon on top of the bananas there. And I also have a protein shake because with less carbs means your protein goes up a little bit and I want to make sure I get a good amount of protein in at the beginning of the day. So it's about 9.15 right now. We're going to try and get to the gym early get that out of the way. Yami's working on check-ins very, very diligently. I actually made her breakfast. Her oatmeal's right there in the, <laughs> in the microwave. But she's been working very hard because uh, she knows I want to get to the gym early. <laughs> she's accommodating me because I'm needy. So freaking needy. I appreciate her. But gonna eat breakfast and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Just left the post office. Yami had to mail her registration for nationals. So it's now a fish, guys. A fish. A fish. She's going to Miami. Like, it was like, she qualified, but now, like, she sent in her registration form. She sent in her payment. It's real. So, Nationals is the 18th and the 19th in Miami. That's, bringing that that's shit the, home. That's the big time. She's bringing it home. So she just started a new series on her, on her channel. Go over and check that out. Her road to Miami. But she didn't want to call it a road to Miami because like everybody calls it like road to the stage or road to nationals. or. But she's from Miami. 
So bringing it home on top of like a dual meaning of she's bringing home first place, she's gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we just left there, had to take care of that. Now we are on our way to the gym, got my pre-workout. So today's and workouts from now on this week are sub-maximal, so shooting for like eight-ish RPE. Backing off the weight a little bit, I don't want, you're not going to failure, you're not going super, super heavy, but basically you're just telling your body to keep pulling glycogen into your muscles so they don't shrink. Now after a few days, if you just stop training during peak week, a few days out, your body's just going to start uh, thinking, I don't need to use that energy, I don't need that glycogen in the muscle, and it's just going to let it go and your muscles are going to shrink. So you want to stress them, but you don't want to stress them to the point of uh, too much swelling or too much inflammation that could make you look soft and make you look less than optimal. So that's the plan. I have back today, so just going to keep the intensity up, keep moving, make the workout pretty quick, plus a little bit of cardio post-workout. So we're about 15 minutes away. We'll catch you guys there. here in front of this window is 10 times better than at home. I don't know what it is, but if I get that window, it's not as good, and even too far back, it's not as good. But the second window, that's what I've, I'm sure everybody has their own <laughs> place in the gym where the lighting's best, and whether it's from a light up ahead or above, or natural light coming from the window. Everybody has their own spot, and this is my spot right here, which is, you know, not the greatest flooring, but the lighting is bomb. So, workout is finished. Now, gonna go finish up with some cardio. <coughs> I'm just gonna do a mix of some steady state and some moderate intensity jogging. So, probably like three to four minutes at a brisk walk, and then two or so minutes at a fast jog. So, like six, seven, seven and a half miles an hour just to uh, kind of alter my heart rate and uh, keep it moderately interval style, I guess. I can't speak right now, but anyways, gonna go finish up the cardio, I'll catch you guys after. <clears throat> Decided to start rewatching Breaking Bad because it's like one of the best shows in the history of shows. And those of you who had watched Breaking Bad know that to be true so ended up doing just over 35 minutes like 36 and a half minutes or so yami just finished up as well i'm going to have i believe two two rice cakes right now for my immediate post-workout carb source and it is in addition to a shake workout went really well got a good pump and feel really good it is 12 30 I think all we have to do is head home. You're done with work for the day. Like you have to edit a video. She has to do a little bit of work, but she finished her check-ins this morning. So like that's a big, probably one of the biggest tasks she has. And I have to design a couple programs. But other than that, main thing, working out, getting to the gym is finished. So my sister is in the kitchen making bacon and it's wafting into the office and it's like, literally right over my head. Well, all the smell is right here. I don't smell it anywhere other than right here, which is making things really difficult. <laughs> but anyways, I've been, uh, for the past two, hour and a half or so, two hours, I've been responding to some emails, writing some programs, taking care of some stuff. Talked to Anthony a little while ago, and he increased my water to two and a half to three gallons. 
So it's making it pretty difficult to get any work done because I'm getting up to pee like every 20 minutes. But it is what it is. It's got to be done. And I think other than this, we're just going to work and we're going to try and get done with everything we need to do early-ish so we can watch Arrow and Flash and just relax the rest of the night. But things are going well. I'm actually, um, my abs are sore from yesterday, which doesn't happen very often. I think I pushed it a little, not too hard, but I pushed it a little harder than I normally do yesterday because of my refeed and I want to make sure everything is being used up efficiently. And I'm definitely feeling it today, on top of all the posing I've been doing, and the abs are just feeling it. So, with that being said, I think I'm going to end the vlog right here. So, good start to peak week, excellent way in this morning, I'm very, very happy. I'm not expecting to maintain that, just because every time I drop that much, you know, I dropped a pound after a refeed, I don't expect to stay there. So, I'm expecting to go back up, probably above 205 tomorrow, but if I can maintain below like 205 the rest of the week um, and, and continue to lean out, I'm going to be super happy with that. So Monday in the books, we are well on our way. Hi Kona. Hi Kona. Hi Kona. Hi Kona. Hi Kona. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this first day of peak week. She just, she just does this weird thing where she like grabs my hand. She'll go underneath and I don't know, she's just a weird pup. You're a weird pup, you know that, but I love you. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for the rest of Peak Week, and I'll catch you on Tuesday.